Hey, what's going on guys? How y'all doing, man? Yes. Okay, so here's what's been happening. Um, lately, I'm waiting for the mantle driver. AMD, if you're watching this, which you're likely not watching anything right now. You're not watching this, but it's your driver. I know you found a bug, but God damn. You said the guys are working overnight to fix it. I'm here, I'm waiting, okay? I'm still dropping out in the 45, okay, I know. It's funny, I upgraded my monitor. Hey guys, take a look. 27 inch, I went from this thing down there, which is, the camera's not gonna focus. Focus, here we go. 1360s, I have to put it, it's so big, I have to put it at the bottom. Um, it's third, this is 1366 by 768, and this is 1080p, 1920 by 1080p. And it's 27 inches, huge, beautiful, sexy, had to pick it up. Got it at a decent price. Um, I love the slim bezel this, this display right here. Uh, it doesn't go in, and I hate that. Like on this one, it goes in, like the screen is more in, and the thing sticks out. I hate that shit. So this is like really smooth off. Anyway, so upgrading from that to this really didn't make any difference. It didn't help me that much. You know, when it comes to performance, well, no, no difference basically. I, I expected performance drop, but I really didn't get any kind of performance drop. I'm still getting the same 45, anywhere from 55 to 45. It really depends on the map. Sometimes 60 frames a second, maybe a little bit more. You could jump up to like 70, 80 at times with a 78, 70, but it sucks. I hate it. I'm on medium settings. I'm not on like ultra or high anything like that. I'm on medium settings. So I'm, I'm here. I'm refreshing the page like crazy on the website. And still 13.11 beta. Waiting for 14.2 because that's what it's going to be. So, so I'm waiting for it. And I'm really happy. I'm waiting. Like I'm excited about Mantle and the optimizations that it should be bringing to the PC platform. Only if AMD would, you know, take it, but they're not gonna do it. AMD, I mean, Nvidia. What if Nvidia would take it, but they didn't, they, they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do it. They, they can, they could, but then what would it look like? It, it would, it'll, it'll feel a little awkward, right? And then I'll jump over to Nvidia. I would, I would jump over to Nvidia if, if Nvidia took Mantle, if they, they use Mantle to uh, uh, jump over to them, and then AMD might lock it. Cause I kind of do like Nvidia, but I re I really want to see where this Mantle thing is going. Cause this uh, low level optimizations compared to DirectX, you know the consoles have it. So so really good performance improvement and really good optimizations. I hope, even though they stated. That how I don't even got confused at first, thinking that okay, it's coming out, but it's only coming out for the R9 260, 290, or 290X. But it's coming out for all the graphics card, even though with the 7000 series and 8000 series, they need more optimizing. So, but it's still gonna work when it comes out, it's gonna work. It's gonna come out for all 7000 and above. If you got 6000 series and below, it's not gonna work for you, of course. So it's a GCN, GCN card is required to really use Mantle. So I really hope this kicks off. I would like it to kick off, but I don't think it's gonna kick off as much as if Nvidia were to take it. I mean, not take it, like borrow it, license it, you know, like, you know, and use it on their card so both cards can have it. And then developers say, oh shit, look, two cards have Mantle. They supported nine videos once what wants this to happen, you know, for the better of PC gamers. We'll make every single game now with Mantle support, but that's probably not gonna happen, and that's gonna suck. So, I hate that. It's really about the optimizations, that's what I care about, the optimizations. What is it, Brennan? Because these consoles, they run so well. They run well, they don't drop down like crazy. You know, every PC configuration is different also, but, Yo, if on PS4 they, it, it has a 79, 7850 with the 8 core and 1.6 gigahertz, 
and it's playing Battlefield 4 at 60 frames a second, I better do the same shit at medium or at high settings at least because I have a 7870. I'm gonna be pissed. You know, I, okay, I'll wait. I'll wait until like the stable driver comes out. Did it just stop? No, it didn't. Okay, but it's not. I'll wait until the stable driver comes out because it stated that they're doing some optimizations. So I'm pretty excited for this. Can't wait for Mantle to drop. It's coming to come out tonight. I'm gonna be working tonight. I'm not gonna be here. So I'm not gonna have any time to try it until maybe when I come home. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to try it. Probably until Monday to see what really happens. Well, the battle with the driver. If it's not out by Monday, I lost all hope. Uh, another thing is that I'm really pissed off about is that the graphics cards are pretty expensive when it comes to the 7970. 7900 series and above. I haven't checked out the 7950 because I want to pick up a 7970 and that was the plan. I have a 77 right now and I wanted to pick up a 7970. Maybe feasibly a 290 uh, graphics card but it's not going to happen anymore because the prices have increased by like a hundred bucks and I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. I just don't see it happening for me. I'm not going to pick it up because the car is a hundred bucks more. Like a 7970 for four hundred dollars, bitch. It used to be three hundred. Bring it back down. Like the funny thing is, though, is that the 7870, which I have my PC, the price hasn't been affected at all because nobody's like really, I guess, buying it. Because miners, um, Bitcoin miners, or whatever the hell you call them, they're buying the graphics cards out because of the um, what is it again? An AMD, what's OpenCL? I believe it's it's really with direct. I don't know. OpenCL is really really fast compared to Nvidia's version. Even though there's now a, a CUDA version of Bitcoin available, so you can use a Nvidia cards. So they're buying out like crazy, like buying five freaking cards at the same time for one person, and now the prices are like jumping up because you know they're running low on inventory. So this that's what I heard. I'm not sure that's what I heard. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true, correct me. But I'm really pissed off because I really have my hopes up. Like I could have picked up a 7970 or 280X at this point, but I'm not gonna pay 500 plus dollars for that shit, guys. Come on. Really, it doesn't make any damn sense to me, especially when it used to be uh, $100 cheaper a couple months ago. Yeah, a few months ago, before the these new cars came out. It used to be cheaper, like I'm not gonna do that. If, even even used, the shit is still too damn expensive. Like, probably just drop off 50 bucks and that's it. Everybody want to take advantage of it. So I, I hate it. It sucks. So in the end, I'm probably just gonna pick up another 7870. I don't want to do it. I want to pick up a, a 280X, a 7900, something 7970 at least. Notice I don't want a 7950. I want a 7970 uh, or a 280X, but I can't find it a good price. So what they're saying is just to wait wait and the price will go right back down so I'm gonna wait a little bit just a tiny bit and uh, I'll give it a couple of months I'll give it a you give it like a month or two if I don't see any kind of drop then I'm just gonna pick up a 7870 it also depends on how bad it feel works if I can play at 60 frames a second with mental drops on medium settings at least 4x MSAA 60 frames a second. I don't want it dropping. It cannot drop below 58 frames. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pick up a 70 or 70 immediately. So I actually want, uh, I need at least 60 frames a second, man. Okay, 59, 58. That's it. I can't like 55 is too sluggish for me. You could, I could feel the drop. Like when it goes from 60 to 55, you, you feel the sluggishness, and I get shot in the head. So it's like, come on, really. So. If the mantle comes out and the performance is good at medium settings, because I'm playing at 1080p now, so if it's good, then I will wait. But if it's not what I expected and I need, I'm gonna need the second card, I'm gonna pick it up. I'm just gonna buy 70, 70 used. I don't wanna buy brand new. It depends on the price also. I don't see people are getting a little stingy, thinking because hey, the 7900 series cards are like a hundred dollars more expensive, like. You're thinking they could get away with that with the 7070, but the 7070 uh, price hasn't been touched. It's still the same 200 bucks. I can pick one up right now, brand new for $200. And the lowest price I see used is 170 bucks. It doesn't make any sense. 
If I were to pick one up right now, I'd buy a brand new color a day. And I don't want to do it. I really want a 7970. So I can get the three gigs of RAM. And then that's really the key. You know, like really to, to, to try and get one high-end card and add a second one later if you want to. But you know, I had a 5770 before the 7870 and 5770 was causing some problems, so I needed a new card immediately. So I picked up a 7870. Now I have the 7870. It's still a good card, mid-range card, still good. Uh, but I need more performance. So just for, just, just I'm doing all of this just for Battlefield. One game. I have no problem with any other games. So, yeah. Titanfall should run pretty good in it. <laughs> nah, I'm not even like worried about that because it's like, it, it kind of looks like Call of Duty a little bit, so I don't know what engine they're using, but it doesn't look like it needs that much power to really power it, really. So, we'll see when it drops. I'll buy the game when it drops on March 11th or something. And then maybe Grand Theft Auto, whenever that's gonna come out. Friday, some people are saying how they're gonna start pre-orders on Friday, so. When I see it on Steam, pre-order that shit immediately, even though it's no benefit to me. But I'll just pre-order pre it. And Dying Light, I want to get that too. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening lately. Also, when I got water cooling, not essential at the moment, but I do want to go water cooling. Likely pick up an H100i, go pick up a Blu-ray drive. Uh, this week, I'm gonna pick it up by Friday. Pick up a Blu-ray drive. Probably go to Best Buy instead of buying. Instead of buying it online, I might go to Best Buy. See what Best Buy prices are, and then just go to Best Buy and pick it up. Buy it from there. Instead of having to wait a couple of days for it to be shipped out um, and get to me. Because if I buy it on Friday, I'm not gonna get it till like Tuesday, a Monday with three-day shipping on New Egg. So, I'm also gonna buy it in Best Buy if the price is good. There's a reason why I shop online. Because online has good prices, nice discounts. It's getting really good dis discounts. So I prefer to shop online compared to shopping in stores. But if Best Buy has a good deal, I'll pick it up there. So, um, yeah. Research file. Hopefully you want to come home today, tomorrow. The website's not down. Try to go over AMD Doc. Because everybody's probably hitting their refresh key like crazy. And, you know, it just, it just goes down. Very best. But I might not be able to try it until Monday. Cause that's my day off. So we'll, 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 we'll really see. You know, we'll see. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll be able to try it out tomorrow. It just depends on what time I get home and I gotta go to sleep and shit like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the deal right now, man. That's the deal right now. I, I don't want to pick up a, a 7970 because it's too expensive. I'm gonna pay $100 more for something that cost last a couple months ago. I'm just not gonna do it. There's no value. I don't see the value. I'm not even gonna do it because I'm gonna touch it. So I'll just wait. I'll just wait. I have high hopes for AMD. Uh, Mantle, that's the reason why I'm sticking with AMD at this point for the optimizations I feel that this thing can bring because you know games on consoles are pretty damn optimized so I am waiting I'm gonna wait wait to see what's going on that's why I'm sticking with them drivers are okay having some problems launching some games since switching from Nvidia to AMD I noticed like I, some games are giving me shit to the product Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, um, they crash every time I change the game settings. And they never did that with NVIDIA. I don't know why. Maybe it's not the card itself. I don't have no freaking idea. But I'm really, my, my, I have a little un hunch that it's probably the, the, the graphics card. Because every time I try to change the settings, it freaking just crashes or just doesn't respawn. So I have to go into the config files and change them like, manually. Uh, but NVIDIA did never happen. So. Games are old on uh, The Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite. I still kind of play that to this day. So, yep. So that's been the deal with me. Um, wow, probably like 20 minutes in. I talk a lot. Like, if I edit this, it'll probably be like 5 minutes. 10 minutes maybe? I don't know. I don't know how long I'm in. Probably like 15 right now. That's crazy. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe. I don't know. I just like to talk stuff. This, just talk, get get it out there. Uh, yeah, but I, I really, man, the graphics cards. I really wanted to pick up a 79. I've really had my hopes on the 7970. And then I saw 400 bucks. I'm like, whoa, 
Newegg made an error, I should probably contact Newegg. Be like, yo, your prices just increased on your pocket. What you doing? What's going on over there? You know, you're gonna come back down soon. So I'll, I'll wait, see what's going on. Uh, from what I've been hearing, I haven't seen any results, but 27870 is much more powerful than a 780. So I don't know how far more, but hey, if it's close enough, that's still a win. I mean, yes, it's two graphics cards, but it's still a win, and it'll cost me significantly less if I buy it used. Which it used to cost. So I picked this one. This the 787 I have in my case right now. Only paid 130 dollars for it. I talked the guy down. Like he he wanted like I don't know 180 or some shit like that. I'm like nah, it's not gonna happen. I don't see that happening. So I'm like eh, give me for 130. He's like okay. So yeah, shit just cut off. Wow. That's the phone saying yo, you talk too much. You need to like wrap this. Stop. Just stop. Stop talking. Anyway, so yeah, I told the guy down to 130. I picked it up for 130. Absolutely amazing. Um, but the most I wanted to pay for it used is 150, maybe 160. But that is my cutoff limit. Any more than that, I just want to prefer to buy new because with these graphics cards, they're gonna be overclocking it. You don't know the lifespan of it. They could be overvolting it. Probably has like a half a month left. Died in a couple weeks. It might die in six months. It might die in a year. So you gotta be really careful when you're buying used graphics. I'm really careful when buying used graphics cards. CPU, not so much, because they just don't die like that. Even if you overvolt them, overclock them, as long as you keep them cool, and you don't overclock them like that, like crazy, insane, uh, high, like, it should be fine. Uh, buying used CPU, I don't, I don't care about buying used CPU. But buying used GPU, I'm really concerned about. Anyway, uh, so that's my little thing there. Little insights and all that stuff. and. Uh, Pretty much. So now I gotta pick up. I wanna pick up a 360 controller. Pick up a H100i. That's gonna be really later on. I don't know, like March. Um, oh god, a new keyboard and mouse. This keyboard is absolute shit. This keyboard is such shit. It is. I'm not joking. This keyboard is shit. Like, it costs $10. <laughs> Because the other keyboard I had broke, and it was a Dell keyboard. This keyboard only accepts up to, what is it, maybe three combinations at once, and then after that, that's it. So if I go like that, I'm running, and then I want to go to the side, and I'm sprinting, that's fine. But if I want to do something else, like jump at the same time, it's not going to happen. So it only accepts up to three uh, strokes at a time, and that's it. Like more than that, bottom out. And I, I, I really, I jump into that problem all a lot of time when I'm playing Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, not Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. The new one sucks. I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm not gonna buy it. Um, but a uh, new keyboard, new mouse, probably a Logitech. The one, the G, what the hell is it? G something. The one with the LCD. I don't remember the name of it. Get a pick up a. Some kind of mouse for like 30 or 40 bucks, something like that. And I'm that should be pretty okay. No, yeah, should be okay. So for now. Um, I do plan on upgrading to Intel later this year. Maybe. Likely. Um, shit. I, it's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. Since the FX 8350 is a FX 8320 overclock. To FX 8350 specs. It's working pretty good for me right now. I don't know. It just depends, you know. Like, if I'm going to be getting more into video editing, vlogging, and making gameplay videos, and wanting to live stream and really compress the, the, the game files really good, then I'm going to have to get an Intel processor. Uh, in, in most cases, I'll just overly overclock this one like freaking crazy. But, um,. I might be upgrading if the Intel, if the Intel new Intel CPU that comes out this year, that should be coming out this year, is a six core. I will be upgrading to Intel. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I don't get like out of hate for saying that. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Take care. And I'll talk to y'all later.